Singer, actress, Broadway performer, Linda Hopkins is my guest on Stars in One. I'm Brock Linehan. We will return after these commercial messages. My name is Melba, the disco queen. I like to boogie with my lips and get down with my mouth. That's why I've come out with a new line of designer jeans, Melba's Disco Jeans. With my jeans, you won't have to know how to dance. Just zip them up and watch them dance for you. Melba's Disco Jeans, from Melba the Disco Queen. Just watch them dance, whether you want to or not. You know, Cunningham, I've been thinking about giving you a promotion. Well, that's really nice of you, sir. Yeah. Cunningham, your fly's open. Yeah, I know that. It's kind of hot in here. Well, zip it up. I'd rather not, if you don't mind. Will you zip it up? If you don't mind, sir. I'd like to leave it down. Now, look, Cunningham, I have important clients coming over this afternoon. Now, zip it up. All right, but I warned you. <laughs> Melba's jeans are also available in men's sizes. For work and for play. Use it all you want. You'll never wear it out. Just look for the label on the back. <laughs> Melba's Disco Jeans. Slip on a pair and watch your buns go wild. Exactly. We're back. Linda Hopkins, singer, actress, Broadway performer. Linda, welcome. Brock, it's a pleasure to be here with you. 1958, Le Serre Restaurant, Paris. Present at the table, Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher, Daryl F. Zanuck, Merle Oberon and her husband, Steve Roman, and Alinda Hopkins. And isn't it funny that 24 years later, Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher are no longer together, Daryl F. Zanuck is no longer with us, Merle Oberon is no longer with us, and Alinda Hopkins is engaged to be married to Merle Oberon's ex-husband, Steve Roman. What intrigues me is after all this time, why do you choose a script like Knock on Any Window, a script that even Amarty Ritt had initial problems with as a first-time movie vehicle? You know, I think you're a little confused, Brock. I was never in Paris in 1958, and I've never met any of those people that you mentioned in public. And the movie was not Knock on Any Window. It was called The Balconies of Paradise. Egypt, 1962. And Alinda Hopkins performs before a sold-out audience at the Nefertiti Theater in Cairo. Backstage, then-President Abdel Nasser says to you, Linda Hopkins, you have brought light to the Middle East where there has been darkness. Tell us what you told him because I think that it reflects a great deal of who you are and what you stand for. Brock. And uh, please, I'm sorry, but do the same hand gesture that you did when you related this story to Kate Hepburn. In the first place, Brock, I've never been to Egypt. And secondly, I've never met Kate Hepburn. Nineteen sixty seven. You're swinging with the Rat Pack, Tahoe. And Joey Bishop says to Alinda Hopkins, please don't rile Frank, he's still upset over the Mia thing. <laughs> Rock, baby, you're wrong. So what? you have been wrong. And that is a terrible, terrible research department you've got. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> it isn't very good, is it? No, no. <laughs> no use in pretending. <laughs> I guess we should just show your film clip from Balconies of Paradise. Paradise. Yes, but I'd, be, I'd be the last one to know, wouldn't I? <laughs> Let's show the clip. Are you okay, 
Grandma? Yes, Jeffrey. I am fine, baby. Grandma is just a little tired, that's all. Are you going to work tonight? Oh, yes, honey. Somebody has to go and collect the tolls. Grandma, did you always work at the toll booth? No, honey. You know, sweetie, Grandma has done a lot of things in her life. Well, if you'd put it under the file marked Linda Hopkins instead of Miriam Hopkins, we wouldn't have wasted 15 minutes of airplay. <laughs> what scares a Linda Hopkins? I suppose it might be the sense of fearing tomorrow. In or that... is it the fear of what stupid question you're going to ask next? Okay, that's it. I want you out of here. You're fired. I'm through with your incompetence. You're the one who's incompetent. I'm not incompetent. Is that right? Is that what you think? Excuse me, Linda, one second. How about two years ago when you had Dean Jagger on the show and you had me ask him why he left the Rolling Stones? Or when you had me ask Richard Rogers why he had trigger stuffed? Mistakes can happen. Mistakes can happen? Explain that to Werner Herzog when I asked him how much longer he'd be managing the St. Louis Cardinals. Well, you can't fire me. I'm under contract. Is that right? Well, you just watch it, okay? Just watch. Get out. Out of here. If the Neil Simon approached a Linda Hopkins with a film script involving the... Oh. Wait a minute! Boys, boys! Hold it! Now freeze right there. Now, didn't I just finish singing a song of people caring for one another? And here you two are fighting like you're trying to kill each other. Don't you understand? You know what? Thank you, Linda Hopkins. Please join me next week when we'll be talking to screen legend and Broadway sugar baby, Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney.